So I made a video on GitHub pages a few weeks ago where I mentioned that I will make a separate video on how to host Next.js website on GitHub pages. So let's talk about that in this video. Hey folks, I'm Max Gan. I'm known as Kodak Dev on the internet and I make videos on web technologies. And in this video, we are going to talk about Next.js. All right, so this is the project that we have. And if I um, start this locally, so I can do that npm run dev and it will start the website for me locally. And let's see how it works. Um, let me open this in the Google Chrome. So if I open this, so this is our website. And as you can see, the, the, the web page is the default web page that you get. All right, so I have to make a new web page here, uh, or a page here. So I'm gonna call this about.js. It can be anything. This is just for the test purpose. I'm simply gonna take all of the index.js code and gonna paste it here. Um, and maybe just simply uh, remove all of this code so that we get an idea that this is what we were expecting. Um, and remove this and just gonna call this main and then the, the div. All right, now I'm gonna call this about page. Awesome. And if I now look into my local host, this is the index.js and uh, this is the about page, as you can see. Perfect, this is working perfectly fine. Now uh, let's go to GitHub, let's make a new repository and I'm gonna call this next.js-pages- I think next year's just dash pages isn't enough. I'm gonna make this public. I don't need to add any any of these things. Um, create a repository. And once we are done with the repository, I'm gonna simply copy this path and add this to my, uh, add this as a remote repository. So get remote add origin path. I'm gonna remove my face from here and shift it towards this path. All right, um, so what I just did is I just added this, this get repository. Let me zoom in a bit as well. Um, get remote add origin and that, that repository. Perfect. Um, so one thing that you have to keep in mind is uh, GitHub pages is for static pages and the, for, for the front end. So you cannot add um, a backend server, a Next.js uh, server, a, a Next.js repository or a Next.js project with some server side rendering. So for that, what you have to make sure is that your website is converted into a static site or an HTML site. Um, for that, what you have to do is you have to do two things. Um, one is that uh, you have to execute two commands, the start command, next start, and another command next export. So now I have to make sure that both of these commands are executing and working perfectly fine. So for that, if I do npm run start, um, npm run build, and uh, it's gonna take a few seconds. All right, this is working perfect, perfectly fine. So now if I do npm run export, um, this fails and uh, this fails because uh, like, like you can get you can see the um, messages here and it says the image optimization using Next.js default coder is not compatible with Next.js export and here you have the possible uh, solution so I'm gonna try the solution um, this one uh, configure third-party loader in Next.js config so what this means is that I'm gonna add a loader that will help us to uh, like uh, that will be supported in even in the static websites. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I am going to add um, images and then here I'm gonna add a loader. So there are multiple loaders in, in, in Next.js. Um, I can even show you that uh, if I go to next slash images loader, um, you're gonna find this here. So loader. Um, yeah, so here is the list. Uh, where can I find the list? It was somewhere here, yeah. So uh, I am Jake's Cloudinary uh, Akamai, uh, Akamai, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. But I'm gonna go with, with this one. Um, to be honest, I do not know what's the difference between these, but um, I have seen people in the Stack Overflow using this one, so I'm gonna go with this one. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go with Akamai. And then another thing is that you have to add a path. So I'm just, just gonna go with empty codes because I have not configured any, I uh, did, didn't do any changes to the path. That's it. Um, so now if I again do npm run build and then 
I do npm run export this works I, I get a warning but that's okay um, this works perfectly fine so with that let me commit the changes I'm gonna commit this and gonna call this um, add a order all right so once we are done with that part let me simply push the code so get push origin main and once we push the code I visit my repository and I see the repository here so now we have everything set up here um, in the next dot config I can see the code here so now let's go to the actions and uh, in the actions let's uh, select node.js and I'm gonna click on configure and here I I do not need to test this on all of these versions so I'm I can just simply go for like maybe 14.x or 16.x let's go with 14.x um, there isn't by the way there isn't any specific reason for which I selected 14.x um, all right now here um, I have to uh, do a few things here so npm ci is basically the same as npm install and um, this npm run build so I'm gonna remove an if present and uh, then the next command npm run build and the next command is npm run export all right so when we execute these two commands what we get is we will get these two folders dot next and out so once we are done with this part um the next thing is we have to add um we have to add a github pages uh github action so for that if i do github pages um github action if i search for something like this i then go to the first link which is uh, from github uh, actions so this is the uh, this is a web page. This is in uh, GitHub Action, but I think this isn't the one that I'm looking for. Um, maybe this one. Yes, this is the one. Um, I've not used the other one, so I'm gonna go with this one because I have used this one. And if I scroll down, I um, there is this piece of code uh, which has a name deploy. So I'm gonna copy this, and I am going to paste it uh, here. And I'm going to fix the indentation um, in a second. So, all right. So we are done with the indentation. And now if I give you a quick idea of what this means is that it uses this GitHub action uh, with the name branch. So uh, this is the branch that you can set for uh, which will be the branch which will be um, hosted, which will be used uh, by, by GitHub pages. And then this folder. So this folder is going to be not the build folder. This folder is going to be this out folder because this out folder is created by um, when when you do next export i'm gonna call this i'm gonna change the name to folder equals to out and uh, i believe that's pretty much it so i'm gonna commit this um directly and we have this folder now now if i go to the code um it's going to start the github action for me um, and you can see here if i go to the actions uh, i have this this action here create node.js uh, yaml and it's it just started so i'm gonna fast forward this video and uh once we we are done with the action we are done with the commit i'm gonna explain this all right so we are done with the github action and this worked perfectly fine we executed the npm run build we executed the npm run export and the deploy etc now if i go back to the code if i see the branches i can see a github pages uh gs pages uh, and you can see those uh, these commands um, so we are partially done there is one other thing that we have to do uh, that is we have to set our github uh, github pages here so if you go to the settings and then if you go to the pages and then you go to uh, then you select the source so this source is going to be gs pages because this is the branch that we used for uh, github pages and i do not need to change this one um, and just simply save this and once i save this i go back to my actions I can see a new um, a new action. So this action is for the GitHub pages itself. All right, folks. Um, so this action is also completed. So if I go to this link now, um, I can see my website. But the issue here is that this website has no CSS um, and no styling. And if I try to go to the contact page uh, or about page, so that is working perfectly fine um, but the issue here is I do not see any styling here so to fix this issue what we have to do is now the problem here is if I go to inspect um, and if I go to console and if I refresh the page 
you can see here hadak.dev hadakdev.github.io slash uh, all of these paths are not found for the fault. So the problem here is that I this path isn't something that that I need. This path is actually wrong. This should be hadakdev.github.io uh, hadak slash next year slash pages slash underscore next slash static and so on. Um, so which means that it, it it's not getting this path. It's it's getting this path and it's trying to get those folders from here. So we have to kind of uh, somehow redirect this. Um, so it's um, something very simple and easy. So what we have to do here is we have to go to Visual Studio Code again and add two things here. So one is going to the base path. Um, so as you as you know, like uh, it's going to get the path uh, all the pages from hadakdev.github.io, uh, whereas we wanted to get the pages from hadakdev.github.io slash nextjs dash pages. So we are just going to add here nextjs dash pages. Um, so that is for the base path. And another, th another thing is this also may not work for some uh, assets. Uh, so for some assets, we can, we can also fix this. Um, and for that, we have this another uh, command, uh, another property that is assets prefix. And this is going to be the same thing. Um, that is nextjs dash pages. And that's it. If I save this and if I pull the code from GitHub to update this, and then if I push the code again, I uh, commit the code, um, add base path and asset prefix. All right. Um, so let me fix this. Yeah. Um, so what we have to do here is I'm not sure if, if this was visible, but I just did, um, GitHub, uh, git commit. Um, I just commit the code. And before that, I just, uh, put the changes. Um, uh, all right. So now I'm just going to push the changes to GitHub. And once that, once that is done, I'm going to go to the actions. And now you can see, I have add base path and asset prefix. Um, so let's wait for this to be completed. And again, I'm going to fast forward this. Okay. Um, so we added, we added some changes. We added the base path. We added a asset prefix, but it's still not working. So let's see what exactly is the issue. Um, if I go again to the inspect, if I go to the sources, if I refresh the page, um, what I see here is the path is correct. GitHub, uh, hadakdev.github.io slash next, uh, next year slash pages and so on but it's still not working. The reason for this is we have to add one more thing um, that is going to be in the GitHub action and that will fix the path for me. All right, so to fix this, what we have to do here is we have to add a file. We have to basically add a new line in um, our Node.js Node workflow, uh, but I'm gonna do this from my Visual Studio code and I'm gonna push this. Um, so the new line that we have to add is let me navigate to this first and let me, uh, close the sidebar. So the new line is going to be touch mm, slash out slash no jackal, jackal. Um, so this new line, and I'm going to also add a dot here. So basically what this kind of mean, means that, uh, basically GitHub pages treats your, uh, treats your project as a jackal application. Um, but this, uh, this line will give it an idea that this is not a JCAG application. So that's it. This, this simple line of code will, um, will fix that, that issue. So I'm going to commit this again and I'm going to push the changes then. So get, um, add no JCAG and then simply push the changes. So once I push the changes, it's going to again, uh, do the action. So I'm going to fast forward this video, uh, once we are done with this action. All right. So the, both of the, both of the actions are completed. So let's again, see our folder, our, our, our project and it's working perfectly fine. And if I go to inspect, I, and I go to the console, I do not see any of those links, but again, we have one small issue. That is the fab icon, as you can see here. And this is quite simple to fix. Um, what we have to do here is that, um, I go back to my visual studio code. And here I am going to add a local dot env file here. So this should be, uh, so this should be dot env and it should be in the root folder. And I'm gonna add, um, and I'm gonna name this fab icon 
and I'm gonna name this um, uh, set the value to next.js dash pages. So this is again the same thing as as the base path that we added mm, here. Um, this again the same base path uh, because if you pay attention here to what it says the message the message um harak dev dot github dot io scratch five icon um so which basically means the link is not correct so we it it should be harak dev dot github dot io slash next js dash pages slash five icon so i just added this here um and if i save this and i go to my um go to my pages go to my um index.js um uh, app.js uh, so this should actually be in the underscore app because it it's something that you have to add only once uh, but for now i'm just gonna give you an idea of how to fix this um so i have i have to remove this and um add the brackets then add the back ticks and here i'm gonna name this uh, process.env. dot um fav icon and then the same path so this fav icon is slash next.js um, slash next year, slash pages and uh, slash next year, slash pages slash fab icon uh, dot icon so this is going to fix it and i'm gonna uh, do the same thing here as well um, in the about um, here as well so but before that there is going to be an issue this fab icon is going to be undefined here uh, because process.env is something uh, is environment variables and these environment vari variables work in the node.js environment only. Uh, but our website is going to be not a node.js environment but a front-end website, a static HTML page. So to fix this, I have to get the value of the process.env.fab icon um, to the front-end or to the HTML page. We just simply need to add something here as a prefix um, here. And this is going to be next underscore public underscore fab icon and let's fix this here so this should be next underscore uh, public underscore fab icon and then i'm gonna copy this and uh, i'm gonna go to the about page and i'm gonna add this here as well save this and let me add the changes commit the changes so this should be i just what did i just do i added the environment variable so add dot env and simply push the changes all right, so the changes are done. And now if I go back to my um, project and if I refresh the page, maybe a few times, now you can see I have the nav, I uh, nav icon here. I'm not sure if I can zoom this a bit. Um, yes, I can. And here you can see, I can, I can see the fab icon. So that is how you can fix that fab icon issue. If I console, if I refresh this in the console tab, I do not see any warning here. So that is it. That is how you can fix the issues um, in the Next.js web page, and that is how you can, and that is how you can host a Next.js website in GitHub Pages. So that's it for today. I'm gonna see you in another video next time. Till then, have a good day, and please do make sure that you subscribe to the channel and share this video in your circle. Bye.